And here is our next match then. Taz takes on Daisuke Sekimoto. And here we go. As you can tell, I've been looking forward to this match. You can tell that by the fact that I've not stopped talking about this match all night. But it was one that when myself and PJ Toby looked at the roster, um, we knew we had to go for it. We, we knew it just... It was too perfect not to. There's the two guys just so perfectly linked up together in the style of wrestling that it just made sense. And what we've sort of done with this roster is PJ Tovey is more of the... Uh, he's more the historian in wrestling. He knows top to bottom the old ECW roster. I, I, I know the majority of them so It's obviously quite obvious. The majority of the main ones, Taz, Sandman, Sabu, Rob Van Dam, uh, of course everyone on this roster. Um, and I had a lot more of the um, the control over the newer, the Combat Zone wrestling guys, the Big Japan guys and so forth. And we sort of come together with this match and we just knew it was going to work. We've got a big strong style wrestler versus a man who is known for his suplexes and submissions and so forth. Here he is. And it's actually a really good core as well. I'm very impressed with this core. And I didn't come into this intending to download him. I came in, I knew I wanted Junker's Eye. So I thought to myself, you know what, I'm just going to type in BJW on uh, on um, Community Creation to see what comes up. And literally I was stunned by the quality and some of the people that were there as well and that's one of the reasons why the um, the roster is so big it's mainly my fault myself and PJ Toby came up with a roster together and then when I was downloading it I may have gone a little bit over the top and uh, potentially uh, downloaded a lot of extra people than what myself and him um, suggested we do as Sekimoto now here we go Slam to the ground. And we've not seen anyone so far controlling Taz like that, have we? Taking Taz up and just throwing him around. A Sekimoto with a boot in the face. And so far, Taz has not had any aggression so far. I know it's only been going like 10 seconds or so, but he's not even able to throw a punch yet. Sekimoto in full control. Booting the gut of Taz and booting on the arm as well. Sekimoto now launching Taz across the ring. <laughs> Dropping a knee right in the face as well. Taz with the shoulder block. And now Taz is getting a bit of control. Now this is still an Extreme Rules match, as all the matches in Carnage will be, apart from tag team matches, of course. Um, so weapons are available, and there's a kendo stick straight across the back of Sekimoto twice, and Taz has decided that this is a, a different animal, a different beast for him to wrestle here. And uh, both these guys, potential for main event, but I think potential for Universal Champion, definitely. I think... The, the Universal Champion is going to be a bit more for the wrestlers and the Hardcore Championship pretty much more for the Hardcore, I suppose, if that makes any sense. So you have the likes of maybe Rob Van Dam, Jerry Lynn, Sabu, Taz, uh, Rhino, um, of course, Sekimoto here as well. Um, even the likes of Del Rio and so forth will be going for this Universal Championship. And of course, the Carnage Championship is for the, uh, the main eventers as well. And of course, I've talked about tag teams earlier. I completely missed off the Briscoe brothers. Of course, if Jay Briscoe does win the championship here this evening, we might not see a lot of the Briscoe brothers for a bit of time because obviously we're going to be uh, seeing the, uh, the the Ring of Honor, the Ring of Honor, the Carnage champion in singles action. And Taz now, after getting a little bit of, um, I don't know what that means. My computer's low on. Wow. We've only got 9 gigabytes of space left on this computer. That's not good, is it? How has that happened like that? I think we're okay. We've only got one more match to record. We should be okay. 
Sekimoto now. Oh, nice T-bone suplex launching Taz on the outside. And yeah, like I say, it's not very often we see a man control Taz like this. And oh my word, look at the strength. Just deadlifting him up into a powerbomb. And I think we might have found here Taz is, uh, Taz is equal by the looks of it. Oh, launching Taz on the outside of the ring once again. And Sekimoto is definitely someone that if we do go ahead with a King of Strong style tournament, which I really want to do, it's just a case of getting the time and uh, so forth, because we're going to have a lot of stuff ongoing on this SW Universe mode for the final three months of 2K17. And I think Sekimoto would definitely be someone who would be involved in that tournament. That's probably with Taz as well, actually. Oh, big German suplex by Taz on Sekimoto. Landing him around the back of his neck, really, and the top of his shoulders. Taz, big right hand right to the eardrum of Sekimoto. He's now back up on his feet once again. Belly to back drop. Dropping a boot. And the ring is just not enough to contain these two. It's real brutal fight. I'm really enjoying this. I knew I would. I am a fan of a good suplex, and that's exactly what we're getting here this evening. Multiple suplexes. And there's another. Taz, big boot into the gut of Sekimoto. Seats him up and then twist in the head. Yeah, definitely uh, both these guys are going to be great moving forward, aren't they? The problem is it's just because the roster's so big, it's been so difficult to write cards for these guys. Taz now, oh, what's he going for here? Deadlifting Sekimoto up on the outside into a German suplex. And you see Sekimoto instantly grab him for his neck. And Taz just continuing the assault. He's not bothered. If anything is the neck is damaged, that makes it easier for him, doesn't it, really? Taz continuing the assault, just raking his foot across the face of Sekimoto, then raining a big right hand as well. And of course, don't forget, we've got one more match left for you after this one. Jay Briscoe takes on Mil Muertes to become the first ever Carnage champion here in SWE. Taz, big right hand to the gut and a big right hand on the face as well. On well, clothesline, Sekimoto to the outside, he just brought him back in the ring. Can't decide what he wants to do here, can he? Sekimoto back up to his feet into the ring once again big elbow and it is Taz in control at this point in time stomp on the back again it's a rake across the face Taz now twist in the neck just slowing the pace of the match down keeping his opponent grounded clever work Taz now stalking Sekimoto, who has been busted open as well. Fighting back as Taz up on his shoulders, launches him over the top. And Taz is a big man, that hits hard when he lands that sort of thing. Sekimoto is under the ring looking for a bit of help, he's found himself a steel chair. But like everybody else, struggles to get back in the ring with that steel chair. Don't quite know why that keeps happening. There he goes in there now. Oh, but Taz wrestles the steel chair away. Sekimoto, the kick to the back of the leg of Taz, but Taz fights back. The back of Sekimoto, Saito suplex onto the steel chair. And that looks like a bad decision by Sekimoto now, bringing that chair in the ring, doesn't it? Big right hand by Taz. And a boot in the back of Sekimoto as well. Before again raining the punches right to the side of the face. Taz slowing down a bit now though. And again though, back onto it, raining the punches into the face. 
Sakamoto, my god, look at his forehead now. The blood really raining from the head as a German suplex. Dropping a knee into the face of Taz as well. And this is amazing this, we don't think we've seen anyone bloodier tonight and it was the one match that was supposed to be more about strong style wrestling rather than blood. But there we go, I don't know what was on Taz's boot when he busted him open, but there's the Taz mission locked in. He's down, it's grapevine, is it going to be enough? Is the Taz mission going to be enough to keep Sekimoto down? No, he rolled it through, oh my god, look at the strength. The strength of Sekimoto. Sending Taz into the ring, head first. This is a very long show, this one, isn't it? I hope you, I hope you still watch it. I hope you are still watching. If you are, let me know. Let me know in the comment section. In fairness, if I was you and I saw this card before the show, I would have gone straight for this match. I just, I have a really, oh my god, look at the deadlift sit out power bomb. Take a bow. In for the Pingo Sekimoto. One, two. Oh, brink of free. You can't get much more brinky than that. Super brink. Sekimoto dropping an elbow right into the spine of Taz. And brings him up. Looking for a deadlift. German bridges. One, two. Oh, and again, Taz kicked out. Oh my God, I'm really enjoying this match. I'm really, really enjoying this match. Second motor now rolling. Taz over into a knee bar. But Taz fighting free. Second motor now went for a Say to Suplex, Taz rolled it through. Second motor slowly crawling across the ropes. He's losing more and more and more blood as this match goes on, which is going to make it more and more difficult. And then Taz slides a table straight into him. I hope, uh, I hope Dave Meltzer's watching. He'll enjoy this one. Sekimoto now dropping an elbow right into the knee of Taz. Of course, Taz was part of the King of Carnage tournament. Was eliminated. Opening round eliminated? I don't know. I should have. The thing, I record so much, I get so lost, I must admit. Sekimoto, big boot to the gut of Taz. They get to on the back. Again, looking for a German, but Taz fights free. Taz with a front chancery. Into an arm block. Arm lock? Arm bar, should I say. Sekimoto breaks free by rolling it through, though. Taz catching the big right hand. Into a Taz mission once again. Middle of the ring. Has him down. Great behind the legs. This could be all. Or can Sekimoto survive another Taz mission? He can, he's rolled it through again, oh my word. Holy guacamole. Taz fighting back and what's he gonna take for Taz to keep Sekimoto down? A powerbomb stacks him up. One, two, then rolls him through into the Boston Crab now as well. And it's enough, he's tapped out. <laughs> oh, oh, what a match, what a freaking match. And eventually, I thought I found someone to, to even out Taz, but Taz still comes out on top. And my word, that was probably probably one of my favorite singles matches I think we've done so far on this game. And for some reason, I just felt it. I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to be a cracking match, and this really, really was. Sekimoto, for me, is going to have a big future here on this uh, universe. 
And it, to be honest with you, he's not a guy I know fantastically well. I've seen him once or twice wrestle. And I know he's a strong style wrestler. And I know he's quite good. I've seen him in combat zone wrestling when they've done big Japan combat zone wrestling sort of mixed shows. But he's just taken it to another level for me here this evening. He really has taken it to another level for me. And I want to see more of this man wrestle. Can you imagine Sekimoto versus Bray Wyatt? Bray Wyatt? Sekimoto versus Braun Strowman, sorry. So I'm really saying that because I was talking about the Wyatt family getting back together. I'm hoping not true. But Taz does pick up the victory. He needs those ranking points. They're going to go down nicely for him. And he can continue to fight his way towards the main event.